Okay, in this video we're going to discuss uh, the parts of a bracket, uh, the basic phases of orthodontic treatment, and the wire sequence that we go through to work our way through those phases of treatment that help us get from having crooked teeth to help us have the teeth be straight by the end of treatment. So first we'll go over the parts of the bracket. So the brackets second premolar to second premolar, or five to five, look like this with a bracket slot where the wire goes, four tie wings that surround the corners of that bracket slot, and then canine and first and second premolars have a hook for the elastics, like this right here. Uh, the molars, the bondable brackets for molars are tubes, like this right here. So they have a bondable base just like the other brackets, but instead of being an open slot, usually they're a tube. Now some of these can be convertible where you can convert them into a slot, but the ones that we use are just a standard tube that can be converted. Um, so the way the bracket is shaped, if you look at the bracket in profile or from the side, it has a slot where the wire goes into. So there's two different sizes of slots. There's an 018 slot or there's an 022 slot, depending on the type of bracket that you use. In our office, we use an 018 slot. And what that means is that the height of the slot is 0 0.018 inches tall, or 18 one thousandths of an inch tall. So we work our way through orthodontic treatment in three phases. The first phase is alignment. That's where you're working your way through um, flexible wires that get the initial alignment of the teeth to get them to go from being crooked to get them to be basically straight. Once they're basically straight, then you go into the second phase of treatment, which is space closure and elastic wear to get the bite to come together correctly. And then once all the spaces are closed <clears throat> and the elastics have been worn correctly, the bite is class one or the way you want it to be. You work your way into the third phase of treatment, which is called detailing. And that's where you put little bends, you put in a wire that can accept bends to get the final little adjustments and details uh, to get the alignment perfect. So to work our way through those sequences or those phases in orthodontic treatment, we, we work our way through a series of wires. So first it's important to know the three basic different kinds of orthodontic wires. So the first kind we'll discuss is made of a material called nickel titanium. This is a nickel titanium wire right here. Um, it has great shape memory. You'll see it's in a U shape. And if I took this wire and bent it around my finger like this, and then I let go of it, it goes bedoing and goes right back into that same U shape. So this is nickel titanium. It's very flexible. It doesn't hold a bend very well. And so we use this to put into the brackets of the crooked teeth, and then it just slowly but surely pulls them into a nice uniform arc shape. So this is a round uh, night tie wire, and this is a rectangular night tie wire. So if you look in cross section, it's rectangular. We'll discuss that more in just a minute. The second kind of wire is a stainless steel wire. So this wire right here is stainless steel. Stainless steel is more rigid than nickel titanium, and as a result, it can accept a bend. So if I go to put a bend in this, so here is my plier. You'll see it's nice and straight. And I go ba-doink, ba -doink. I just put a little step bend in that. So stainless steel wire can accept a bend and hold it. And so we use stainless steel during the final detailing phase of treatment. And the last type of orthodontic wire we don't actually use in our office, but it's out there. So it's called TMA, or some people call it beta titanium. It's has a mix of the properties between nitai and stainless steel. It's more flexible than stainless steel, so it has those qualities similar to a nitai wire, but it can accept a bend like stainless steel. And so it's kind of a hybrid wire as far as its qualities are concerned, where it's fairly flexible and not so rigid like the nitai, but it can accept a bend like the stainless steel. And so a lot of offices will do their detailing uh, phase or their finishing phase, as some people call it in TMA or beta titanium. So the wire sequence that we usually work our way through to get from crooked teeth to straight teeth and perfectly detailed teeth 
is as follows right here. So the first wire that we'll usually use is an 014 Naitai wire. So in other words, it's 0 .0, or 0 0.014 inches in diameter. And it's a round wire, so there's only one number to describe its diameter. Um, and it's made of nitai or nickel titanium, so it has that very uh, flexible, good shape memory. And it'll go back to the U shape to straighten the teeth up. So we put the brace on, we usually put in an 014 nitai wire, and it starts to straighten the teeth up. And we let that wire work for about eight weeks, or two months in other words. And then when they come back, if the teeth are straight enough, we will take the 014 nitai wire out and we'll put in an 016 nitai wire. It's the exact same thing as the 014, but it's just a little bit thicker, and as a result, it's a little bit stiffer. And so it'll have a little bit more force to line the teeth up a little bit better. And then we let that one work for about two months, and then they come back. And if all of the rotations are out of the alignment of the teeth, meaning that all the teeth are perfectly aligned so that they look like this, fairly well aligned in a nice continuous arc shape, then we will go to our third wire, which is our 1725 Naitai wire. So that has two numbers to describe it because it is rectangular in shape. So it's 17 one thousandths of an inch tall by 25 one thousandths of an inch uh, thick or deep. And so it's a called a 1725 Naitai. So that wire, like when we look at this uh, diagram of the bracket in profile, the round wire will line the teeth up rotationally and to correct the heights, but the round wire won't engage the edges of that bracket slot. And so the teeth can be torqued like this still. Whereas that rectangular arch wire, when we put that in, it engages the slot completely and it works on correcting the torque of the teeth. So if they're like this, it goes and uprights them, if that makes sense. So we let that 1725 Naitai wire be in there for several months because that torquing movement is one of the slowest movements to happen in orthodontics because you have to move that entire root through the bone to upright that tooth. And that's just a very slow movement. So we let that 1725 stay in there for several months as it uprights the teeth and gets the torque of each of the teeth uh, more on. And then once the 1725 has done all that it can and things are still not perfect, then we will go to our final wire, which is a 1622 steel wire. So it has two numbers to describe it. So it is uh, a rectangular wire also, but it's 16 one thousandths of an inch tall by 22 thousandths of an inch deep or thick, uh, facial lingually. And that wire is made of stainless steel. So we can put bends in it, as I described earlier, to compensate for any improper bracket placement or improper shape of the teeth. So if everything is looking good, all of the brackets are aligned passively, but we still have, say, the teeth, we want them like this, but one tooth is like that. You put a bend in the wire that goes like this, and that will bump the position of that tooth out so now that they're nice and aligned. And that process is called detailing. So usually the first phase of treatment alignment phase involves the 014 nitai, the 016 nitai, and the 1725 nitai. And then once that 1725 nitai has been in there for a few months, that alignment phase is usually complete. And so we'll move into the second phase with space closing and elastics. We'll usually do that on the 1725 Naitai uh, by putting elastic chain on the wire or um, centaloy springs to close the spaces. And then once all the spaces are closed and they're wearing the elastics and that 1725 has been in there long enough to do all of its torquing work that it needs to do, then we'll move into the final detailing phase by putting in a 1622 stainless steel wire and putting in those detail bends to get that final alignment. And that's how we go from progressing our way through orthodontic treatment to get the teeth nice and straight.